Greetings, beautiful souls. Are you excited for this journey where we're finally physically shifting from the 3D solar frequency, which is our survival pain and suffering into fifth dimensional solar frequency, which is love and happiness kind of the frequency. So as I already spoke about, we are entering a nine days of Palladian alignment. So this video is to focus on the first three days. So we're gonna split it into three segments. So the first three days is about healing the past, working through your karma and starting this rejuvenating process because we have done this whole year of the uh, work on our emotional parts, on our transformation from the ego into the mind. And now it comes the beautiful cellular process. So three days, November 15, 16, and 17. Now every day would have a specific energies. Um, so on the first day, we start with this new beginning. So on the November 15, which is the Tuesday, it's the new beginning. You literally have to make up your mind. What is that you want? Do you want to transform from the three-dimensional survival being into the fifth-dimensional survival being? Well, because you're listening with it, I would say that is yes. The second day is the day of the choices. So we go for the Wednesday 16. You need to make a choice. Why do you want this? Why do you want to evolve? It's not just a part of the ancient initiations. You need to know why, because if you want to be in the charge of your body, if you want to be in the charge of your destiny, then you need to know why. It's not just like, nah, because it feels good. Well, a lot of things feel good and then they can give you a belly cake. You can eat too much of chocolate, it gives you the belly cake. So find your reason. Why do you want this body to rejuvenate? Why do you want to direct yourselves into the fifth dimensional uh, frequency and literally refurbish this body because we are going to stay in the physical human body. So I would say the good choice is the um, be in a service to humanity. You can be through anything. You can be a great mom, you can be a baker, you can clean the houses or you can be a doctor. You know, if you are the holder of the light codes of this fifth dimensional energy, which to me is the love and the happiness, then that is a reason good enough to shift into these energies. And the day three on the 17 is the catalyst. That's where the shift is really, really, really happening. So these three days, how they are going to feel, because the, all the section of the three days are going to have a different feel. So the first thing that you are going to practice on every single day is to walk in your heart chakra. I want you to imagine that in your heart chakra, there's a cave, a very, very dark cave. And in this cave is sarcophagus, like in the pyramids. The sarcophagus, it's filled with water. And the water is like this turquoise green color quality of the water. So on these first three days, you, you know, walk there and you lie in your sarcophagus. And it's like you are in the womb, a womb of the mother, a cosmic mother, a goddess that is there for you. And you need to stimulate the feelings. You feel safe, you feel protected, you feel loved, and you feel nurtured. Because that's how it would be under the perfect circumstances when you would be in the womb of the cosmic mother. Here we just have to, you know, play with it and stimulate it a little bit. So the first day on the beginning, you get used to this feeling, you know, to be in this sarcophagus and be in this beautiful turquoise green color water. Uh, you may take a nice hot bath on this day because this water feels really warm, maybe a little bit too warm, but it's still comfortable. The goal is that you feel good but you also trigger your nervous system. So you may feel extremely, um, extremely, what would be the right word, triggered. You may feel paranoid. You may feel pushed from every corner of your life. Why? So the energy is helping you. 
you want to start this shift from again from the three-dimensional cellular frequency this is not just the energy around you this is your physical energy into this fifth dimensional energy let's compare it to the snake and shedding the skin there has to be the impulse of the shedding that skin and that impulse that i go from the inside out so at this point the impulse will start going inside out that's mean that the light's gonna go crazy for the three days and if it does the more crazier it goes give yourself a pat on the back it says bizarre is new today and through that i can go very fast through my um, transformation now you may be pushed into all the past life memories and life patterns that keep repeating you over and over and over not only one lifetimes but the many 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 lifetimes and again that feels very uncomfortable i feel like you just want to jump out of your skin or that you just may not um, feel to be living anymore or that you feel you're just gonna give up everything and just uh, drive away to live on the abandoned island that's exactly how it may possibly feel for the many of you for the many of us i always experience the same what you are experiencing so i can talk about it for me just to go a few days ahead and it's definitely um from the bizarre to the uncomfortable to is it gonna be okay and i want you to remember it is going to be okay so what are you gonna do when you are in the sarcophagus you're gonna imagine that there's this umbilical cord it's like a golden umbilical cord that is connected from you to the cosmic mother now your cosmic mother is in the alkyon for this particular rite of the passage and if you had a good mom in this lifetime you can imagine that is your mom if your childhood or your connection with your birth mom in this life have not been exactly the greatest or something that you want to right now to bring into this initiation then just imagine there's a cosmic mother who just loves you loves you loves you so much and you are just again nourished nurtured love you feel safe you feel beautiful and you feel like i can do this so that way when the you know bizarre twists in your everyday life will happen you feel that your mom has your back and you can say, okay, what is it that I need to do now? Different action and reaction. That is all what you have to do. Normally, what you would not do, it's okay to do, even if it triggered the situations. Because sometimes, and it's not that you're gonna do it consciously, you're probably gonna do it subconsciously. Sometimes you need to give the uh, falling tower a little bit more push so it can fall a little bit faster. <laughs> Just be careful what you wish for. Sometimes you just need to sit, stand back a little bit and let it to fall on its own. And that literally is metaphorically you know, connected to your life patterns and what is happening to you. Follow the flow of the universe. Don't follow your ego mind. Let the signs and synchronicity show up on your path and let it evolve on its own. Now, for these three days, you the point is to let go and come to the acceptance what can be happening to you you may be going through the denial to the anger to the all kind of the trauma that will come up to the depression to the you know all kind of the feeling bad whatever happened remember by the end of the day three which is the thursday 17 november 17 you need to come to the acceptance whatever happened to you in any life that you can possibly remember whatever happened to you in this particular life you have to accept it so you can surrender you can let go letting go is the surrender surrender doesn't happen without the acceptance and if you really have a hard time but you cannot accept then ask yourself how long i'm gonna carry that pile of the you know what with me how long if I have an opportunity to let him go, if there's this Pleiadian, my and the earthly and the sun energy working with me, why well, can I take it as a blessing? Now again, it's going to be like on the speed up train that 
if you really want to get up, you will have to jump out and it's not going to be the most pleasant kind of the thing. But if you get to, to this, I cannot promise you, but I do believe that you will do this karmic cleansing for maybe your whole life that you have been here on the earth. So what's going to help you through these three days? Meditate. Spend the time with your lower three chakras. Forget about anything fall and upper chakra. This is the first three chakra work. Your safety, security, your childhood and level of the happiness and your grown up self. So, you know, your safety and security, whatever happened and challenging you, right? All these past lives and the triggers and the patterns, your unhappiness in life. And when you come to the third chakra, you cannot be like, oh, you have to come. Okay, I accept it all. And I will pray. And intention, meditation, sitting within this energy and going into the higher place and surrounding yourself in the unconditional love, it's a prayer. We call it in many different ways, but we all end up with the same kind of doing you know, the same way. So don't get caught up in the language uh, explanations here. So you meditate, you pray. You wish your enemy love. You wish the love to the people who can't love themselves. Remember, the love is the most potent, strongest energy within this universe. To those who are afraid of love, who are too way to cut up within the mind, the love is a weakness. And they are not able to embrace the love and accept the love within their life because love always brings some kind of the blockages and the fears and insecurity and the brokenness. Love is the strongest power to energy essence that we have because love comes from your soul and your soul is not out of this universe. Your soul is a visitor within this universe. So embrace the love. Do the karma cleansing. I'm going to add on the bottom one of my favorite energy exercise that is not from me. I'm also going to add the meditation of the karma cleanse and I think it's the releasing of the, um, the old patterns and our soul contracts. Then you're going to do this energy exercise. It's not only that we're going to do this, you know, the meditation and going through it. We're also going to do a physical exercise. So every four days, uh, every three days, we're going to focus on the four organs. So releasing the pulse, we're going to focus on the heart, small intestines, bladder and kidneys. Now we are going to go through the whole uh, meridian wheel through these nine days. So if you are familiar with the meridians, you know that the heart organ and meridian feeds into the small intestine, small intestine feeds into bladder, bladder feeds into the kidney. We know that from those who study the soul healing with me, heart is the seat of your soul. Small intestine is the part of your nervous system that's sending out information into the whole body. Your bladder, your urinary bladder is the main brain within the body. And literally is responsible for your Kundalini energy and feeds into your domain and remain meridian, which means central and governing meridian, which creates the orbit through the body. And then it goes into the kidneys. We know that the kidney feeds energy information into circulation that will be the next four days. So if we want to send out the information in our um, bone marrow, we have to continue in this pathway and literally sending it through the kidneys. Kidneys are important part of the web. Then every time on the end of this exercise, we direct that energy into the spleen because spleen actually sent out energetic information into your bone marrow to say, hey, what do you produce it in this kind of the way? We know the way how you feel and think creates your reality. Your reality is created from the inside out, not from the outside in. So whatever it is that you are inside, you're going to create on the outside. That way, when we say we are responsible for our reality, we are responsible for our reality. So, when we are like a snake, we're going to shed our skin and we recreate a new skin. We all know that a new skin grows from the inside out, right? And that's going to happen on the day three. So, let me show you this exercise. If you are living somewhere in the southern parts, like me in the South Carolina, 
it's very good to do it bare feet on the grass. If it's too cold for you outside, I totally understand, do it inside. So here is the exercise. Let me just move it a little bit here. And you can do it sitting or you can do it standing. So it's the simple breath exercise. We are start with the heart uh, organ and the heart meridian. So the first, let's just, you know, say a little uh, invocation. I ask and thank you to be connected with the highest available energy of the God source, my highest self, and the frequency of unity. Of, of unconditional love. Breathe it in and we're gonna bring the cosmic energy into our heart. So literally you take it and you breathe cosmic energy in your heart and you exhale it inside of the earth. Now we're gonna take the earthly energy and we're gonna inhale it inside of our small intestine so we take the earthly energy inhale it in our small intestines and exhale it in the universe now the next is the urinary bladder so we take the beautiful energy from the cosmos inside of the bladder and down inside of the earth our last one is the kidney from the earth inside of my kidneys and up in the universe now you are going to take the energy from the earth and from the universe whichever hand you like to to use it honestly doesn't matter so we bring that energy from the earth from the universe in our heart, or yeah, in our heart, and you exhale it. You share it with the nature, trees, plants, grass, nature, everything is up there. Now you're gonna collect it, you take it from the nature and bring it in your spleen. And you hold it there. Literally send it all over your body. And our goal is to be in the rainbow body and have a life filled with love and happiness. So we thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's do it one more time together. Um, again, you're bringing the cosmic energy in the body, sending it into the earth. You're bringing the earthly energy in the body, sending it up into the universe. Then you bring both of them in the body. So we're going to have your little chi ball. Send it out there in the nature of the earth. The nature will amplify it. You breathe it in. Bring it into the spleen. Spleen, send it into the appropriate places for the cell wall rejuvenation. So let's start one more time. Heart. In. Inside of the earth. Out. From the earth into small intestine. in the universe from there in the urinary bladder from the earth in the kidneys and inside in the universe now I take earthly energy and universal energy in my heart, create my little chi ball, send it out in the, in the nature. I call upon this energy, bring in my spleen, and I see my beautiful rainbow body because my new snake skin is in the rainbow. And I send it all over my body. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So have a fabulous next three days and look at the next segment of the video. What to do next? Love and light.